מאחר שאין אפשרות לטפל רק מן האוויר ומנהרות, חיילינו עושים זאת גם מן הקרקע. Up to 90 feet underground and sometimes reinforced with concrete, tunnels like these are a key target of the Israeli military's recent attack on the Gaza Strip. Palestinians have been using a vast tunnel network to smuggle basic commodities and weapons into Gaza from Egypt for decades. But at least as early as 2006, Hamas began cutting a new system into Israel. In the last year and a half, the militant group has been using these new tunnels to infiltrate Israel and store weapons. In this video released by the Israeli Defense Forces, you can see what are believed to be Hamas militants retreating back into the mouths of tunnels opening in Israel. The Israeli military says it has been planning for a year how to destroy the tunnels and has so far uncovered tens of tunnels with multiple entry points. <laughs> Hamas's use of tunnels in today's conflict has some history. It's rooted in the 2006 kidnapping of Gilad Shalit, then a 19-year-old Israeli soldier who was snatched from Israel and taken to Gaza via tunnel. Five years later, more than 1,000 Palestinian prisoners held in Israeli jails were exchanged for his freedom. It was a strategic success Hamas would like to repeat. Now many Israelis fear more kidnappings and more attacks. While Israeli officials admit they'll never be able to destroy them all. 